Hey racers, John Race with you today back for race 10 of Hot Wheels Tournaments Season 6. Now we have all of the beautiful hypercars here. We have the hypercars that have gotten first, second, and third in all of the races so far. And for today's course, we have the Super 6 Lane Raceway down to the street track to a little bit of a jump. Now this track is very random. You never know when the cars are gonna spurt off to the right or left, crashing and letting their opponent win. So it's gonna be some very exciting races. You guys know the word of the street. It's one win. It will decide it all, even up to the finale. So this is gonna go very fast and there are gonna be a lot of wrecks. It really comes down to luck for this type of track and that's just what we need for the final race of season six. Now the finale, is going to be announced in the video coming out next Wednesday. I know you get a whole bunch of you guys are hyped for that, so stay tuned for the video next Wednesday where there will be a huge announcement coming there that'll also include the fate of this series. So let's go ahead and let's start racing. First up, we got the Veyron versus the Venino. Here we go, Veyron versus Venino. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be the Bugatti Veyron taking the win. So next up we have the 720S versus the Renault Sport. Three, two, one. Look at that, it's gonna be the Renault Sport beating out the 720S, taking the win. Here we go, next up is the Mazda Furai and the Porsche 918 Spyder. Three, two, one. Look at that, and it's no contest, the Furai is gonna take the win. Next up, we have the Mitsuoka Orochi, and then the second place contestant from last week, the Ferrari 599XX. Three, two, one. And look at that Mitsuoka go with some sheer speed, taking the win. Here we go, next up we got the Sesto Elemento versus the Ferrari La Ferrari. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Sesto Elemento taking the win. Who could have seen that coming? Next up, we got the Enzo Ferrari versus the Lamborghini Centenario. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Centenario taking the win. The Enzo is gonna wreck. Here we go, next up with the Aston Martin Vulcan and the Lam uh, not Lamborghini, the Bugatti Chiron. Three, two, one. Look at that, and both cars are gonna wreck, but it's the Chiron staying ahead. The Chiron's gonna take the win. Next up, we got the McLaren Senna versus the McLaren P1. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Senna turning around and blocking the P1 from taking the win. The Senna is moving on. Next up, we got the two GT cars. We got the Lamborghini versus the Mercedes. Three, two, one. And look at that, the Lamborghini has a great start, but he goes right off the track, leaving the Mercedes to move on. Next up, we got the Lycan Hypersport versus the Infinity Concept. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be both cars falling off the track. We're going to have to re race. Here we go, race number two for this matchup. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be Infinity staying ahead of the Lycan, taking the win. That is a tough break for the Lycan. Next up, we got the Ferrari FXX versus the Lamborghini Aventador. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Lamborghini Aventador beating out the FXX. And for the final race of the final first round of the series, we got the Aston Martin 177 and the Pagani Huayra. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Pagani Fire beating out the Aston Martin with one last stretch to the finish line. That's the first round down. Now on to the second round. I interrupt this video to advertise to you guys my Instagram page. If you go into the description, click at John Racer 3 on Instagram. It'll take you to my page where I post a whole bunch of behind the scenes photos, thumbnails, and sneak peeks to future videos on my channel. You can even have a chance to enter a special giveaway from cars in my collection that I don't need anymore. So I guess there's that. And if there's not enough incentive now to follow my Instagram, I communicate with you guys a lot on this platform because I get to showcase my collection to you guys and my channel and my videos and all that so if you like anything that 
that I do or me, go ahead and click the link in the description to follow my Instagram. We got beautiful car posts and we even have some Forza clips if you if that's your thing, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know about my Instagram. Follow it. Click that follow button, let me know, and I'll give you a shout out. So thank you guys for watching. Now back to your schedule video. First up, we got the Renault Sport versus the Bugatti Veyron. Three, two, one. It's going to be close, but it's going to be the Veyron getting across the finish line for the Renault. Next up, we got the Mitsuoka versus the Mazda Fugai. Three, two, one. And look at that, both cars fly off the track. That causes a re-race. Here we go, re-race. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Mitsuoka just barely edging out the Furai, taking the win. Next up, we have one of the most dominant cars in the series, the Sesto Elemento versus the Centenario. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Centenario's tough, not tough break, the Sesto's tough break as he gets passed right at the last second by the Centenario. What a race. Next up, we got the McLaren Senna versus the Bugatti Chiron. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be the Chiron taking the win at the last second. What a race. Here we go, next up we got the Infinity versus the Mercedes. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's an awful crash. It looks like the Infinity is gonna stay on the road more than the Mercedes. That was an awful wreck. But the Infinity is moving on. And finally we have the Lamborghini Aventador versus the Pagani Huayra. Three, two, one. And look at that, the Aventador is going to stop the Pagani from moving on. The Aventador is moving on. Here we go, we have a lot of cars that have not moved on since, uh, like, very early in the series. We know that the Veyron has been probably the only car in this bunch to move on to the final three. The rest of these cars, it's all or nothing. Let's see who takes it in the next round. Next up, we have the dominant Veyron versus the Mitsuoka, who really needs a win. Three. Two, one. And look at that, it's gonna be the Veyron beating out the Mitsuoka. That is unfortunate. Next up, we have the Lamborghini Centenario versus the Bugatti Chiron. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Bugatti Chiron beating out the Centenario. It was a good run. And finally, we have the Infinity versus the Aventador. Three, two, one. And it's going to be the Infinity moving on to the finale. Here we go. So either way, both of the Bugattis are going to be moving on to the finals, which is fantastic to see. Then we also have that Infinity. But let's see who can take first in this series. You guys know how it works. Each car will go up against each other once. The car with the most wins at the end will be the winner. And then we'll determine second place as well. So let's go ahead and start with the two beautiful Bugattis. Here we go. Bugatti Chiron, Bugatti Veyron. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be the Bugatti Chiron taking his first win. Now here we go, now we got the Infinity versus the Veyron. If the Infinity wins, it'll be all or nothing for first place. But if the Infinity loses, then I think it might be the Chiron's chance. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, and look at that, the Veyron is actually off the track, but the Infinity is on the track, but he never went off the jump. I think this deserves a re-race. Here we go, we race. Three, two, one. And look at that, it's going to be the Infinity beating out the Veyron. The Veyron is getting third place for sure. It all comes down to this race. All right, it all comes down to this. Who will be the final winner of the regular races of Hot Wheels Tournaments Season 6? It all comes down to this. Can the Infinity bring it back for one last win? Or can the Chiron get his first win as well? Three, two, one. It's going to be close, but it's going to be the Bugatti Chiron taking the first, his first win, championship win of season six. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now stay tuned. There will be more information about the finale because you guys are going to be choosing the track that the cars race on for the finale. And I'll explain all the rules there for all the first, second, and third place cars. So stay tuned for that. I think the tournament will probably be in a week from next Saturday. So next Saturday will be a regular upload. And the Saturday after that will be the finale. So stay tuned for that. More information will be coming in that Wednesday update video, which I hope you guys are hyped for. I am hyped for it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.